Okay, in this video we're checking out the Airblade UAV Intrepid V2 2.5 inch frame. And I've actually had this frame for a while, I had this built up. I've been flying this for over, almost a month now, I think. And the reason you haven't seen a video yet is because, um, I guess the owner of Airblade UAV, he uh, won on vacation and this went out of stock. And I, if you guys were lucky enough to buy this when you saw it on my Facebook, I posted it when I first got this and um, put a link to that in my Facebook and I think it sold out within like a couple of hours the first batch but it's been out of stock for almost a month now and uh, he, he's gonna just you know, at the posting of this video this should now be in stock so if you check the link uh, you'll be able to buy this and I would recommend that if you are you know a pilot like me who likes these type of frames here on the lighter side to get some recording of um, you know HD video via split mini or Cadex Turtle, for example, then this frame I definitely would recommend you check out. It's a very light frame for two and a half inch props. Obviously, I did a review on the three inch version of this earlier, and I'll put a card in the corner, link down below for the, the three inch version. It's just obviously quite a bit different, bigger, of course, for three inch props. Removable arms on this one on the three inch version, whereas it's a unibody frame on the two and a half inch. You see, uh, no removable arms. That also makes it a lot lighter. I uh, also have lighter, a lighter motor set up here as well. Um, let's see here, I think on the 3 inch I had the uh, Emax, these are the 1408 motors I believe, yeah, these are the 1408 uh, 3600 KV motors. Uh, the B motors for the uh, T-props here, the Jump Van 3035s, uh, Run Cam Split version 1 with the two boards in this one. And yeah, you can check out that video if you want the full specs on that, but it, obviously quite a bit different frame. You can actually carry a GoPro session on here with this little camera mounting area here, but the big difference here is the weight. I just want to show you how much of a difference this makes here in terms of why I like the 2.5 inch version better in terms of uh, the kind of flight characteristics. Now if you look at the old version, or I guess the 3 inch version, nothing wrong with the 3 inch version. On this setup I like the way it flew. It was uh, you know solid. Flew it on, on 4S. Um, and it flew very, very, very nicely, but you know it's uh, it's a heavier setup, and so it's going to be faster. Uh, you're going to need to fly this in a little bit bigger areas, that kind of thing. 100 and almost 175 grams for this setup here without the battery. And uh, when you go to the two and a half inch setup, it's a significant difference here. Now we're down to 103 grams, so we're shaving like 55% off, or it's like 45% off of the weight total weight compared to the three inch. And I think that uh, in terms of uh, flight characteristics, if you want to fly this as like an like a very small acro flyer, freestyle flyer at the park, uh, this kind of a lighter setup I think is going to be better. Uh, I'm using the new Spintech motors on here. These are the 1304s, 8600 kV, and I think that um, I, 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 these are actually the 2S motors. So I want um, I probably should have went with the 3S motors on this one because. You're probably going to get a little bit better flight time on the 3S, I think it's a 6500 kV on the same prop here, a little bit bigger battery. Uh, I was flying around on this uh, 2S GNB 550. I could probably go to a bigger battery like a 650, but I kind of wanted like nice freestyle you know, performance where I could kind of blip the throttle and you know throw it and it would just kind of float, uh, you know, similar to a bigger quad like a 4 or 5 inch. Uh, you can go with a bigger battery, but it won't, it won't, you won't be able to throw it as much because it's uh, not going to have as, it's carrying around more weight. So, um, you'll, you'll see if, I don't know, you'll see the flight footage. You can see for yourself if you like the performance of this on 2S. If you do, then get the 2S motors. If you um, would rather get uh, have a little bit more flight time, I would try the 3S. I think the performance will be similar. If you're thinking 4S on the 2.5 inch here with the, uh, this little, you know, with the split mini, it's going to be a little bit heavier than um, the one with like a regular FPV camera. So I was thinking it may or may not be the best on 2.5 inch. 4S for 3 inch, I think definitely no problem. You know, on the 3 inch here, it's it's totally fine on the bigger motors. But if you go to the Spintech 1304, I think the three 4S motors are like 5200 kV. Not exactly sure if the forest weight is going to do well with this frame or not. I think 3S will do really well, and I did like the way it flew on 2S in this. You know, of course, you'll see that in the flight demo. I can't test every single motor on this frame here because it's just not practical, but these are just my thoughts on uh, what would be good for this one. I think 2S or 3S for this 2.5 inch frame would be fine, if given the light weight. And that's kind of what I like about this, is, and because it's light, 
uh, you, you, you can kind of throw it around at the park. It doesn't make a lot of noise. Uh, you don't have to worry about um, causing a lot of damage if you crash. And you know, that's another reason why he went with the uh, unibody instead of uh, individual arms here. Because if, um, if, because if you keep, as long as you keep it lightweight, the less likely you're going to break an arm. Of course, you know, if you go to a huge motor, um, you know, say like instead of a 1304, if you could put a giant motor on here, which I don't think you can actually. I was thinking, well, you know, if you put a really big motor on here, um, it's going to be a problem. But I think he limited this to a 9mm hole pattern. So I think the biggest motor you can put on here is going to be like a 1304 or something like that. If you go to, like, if you want to put a 1306 or a 1407, those have 12mm hole patterns for the motor. So those won't go on here anyway. So that's a good thing they did that because on a, on a unibody like this, if you put a really heavy motor on here on the end of the arm, more mass, of course, heavier, more likely that you're going to snap an arm. So uh, if you keep it to in you know, these smaller uh, motors with a 9mm hole pattern, you're limited to like the 1100 series, uh, 1200 series, 1300 series. So 1304s will be okay here, like the ones from RCX has a 9mm hole pattern. Uh, I think the Superman motors, the 1404s, also have the 9mm hole pattern, but those are also pretty light, so that's probably the, the limit of this frame anyway. Don't want to go any bigger than that. And you're not really going to gain that much more performance uh, carrying a heavier motor on the 200 inch prop. You're just going to increase the chance of damaging the frame in a crash with all that extra weight around. So, yeah, the 1304 in this, I think 1206 would be pretty good in here. Um, obviously, 1106 is going to be fine. 11 to 6, like 6,000 kV and 3S would be good on this one as well. Um, yeah, so well, those are just some suggestions. Now, I'll put the parts that I used in this build here down below. I, uh, if you're going to go 2S, I, I went with a lighter stack. This is the HDLRC uh, F413, uh, so it's a 13 amp ESC instead of the 28 amp because you don't need that for these 2S uh, motors on the 200 inch prop. It doesn't draw a lot of amps. Uh, but if you want to go 3S or, or even 4S, you're going to need a different part there. So I'll put the part for the either the Diatone Mamba on 4S or the HDLRC F428 if you want to use that stack here. Um, and of course I'm using the HDLRC uh, TX20 uh, video transmitter and this is the uh, Split Mini V2. Uh, so those are the parts. I'll put all those down below as well as suggestions for a 3S setup. And then the um, antenna I'm using here is a new one I'm testing out. This is uh, from Banggood. It's a uh, called the UR UAV something. It's a circular polarized antenna. It's a little 3D printed part. I have no idea what the antenna looks like inside. I think this is a clone or a copy of the one from Actuna. I forget what it's called, the Gem. I've been using the Gem quite a bit. Um, it's a good good antenna and uh, probably somewhere better than a Pakoda and less than a Lollipop. And this is pretty similar. I didn't, can't, I mean, I have no complaints about the antenna performance of this one, at least on the Flights that I was flying around, kind of close range, you know, I'm not going too far with this one on two and a half inch props. I mean, this is a park flyer, so if that's the case, this antenna should be fine. But yeah, I'll put a link to this one as well down below. Um, yeah, in terms of um, the actual specs on the frame itself, of course, you, you know, you could just go to the site, website and read them. But I'll just give you real quick here. It's a two millimeter bottom plate, two millimeter top plate here. And I think those uh, side plates are also two millimeters. So that's what, you know, that's why it's light, because the thickness of the carbon isn't all that thick. And uh, yeah, that's why you have to keep the weight of everything down because uh, on a two millimeter bottom plate, if you boost up the weight, you're going to have more mass and then um, <laughs> more likely you're going to snap an arm in a crash. So definitely if you want to ha um, enjoy the same kind of performance that I got here, keep the weight down with your components and that uh, will uh, you know, keep the frame uh, less likely from breaking and crashes and you'll get better performance in the air in terms of acro freestyle flight. Anyway, so yeah, this frame should be in stock now if you're watching this video now. Um, not exactly sure how big the bat second match of these frames are uh, in terms of the numbers. So if you're interested in this frame, I would definitely uh, jump on it and purchase one. I think it's like $26. Not, it's not a bad price at all. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely if you want to do, you know, HD recording, no props in view, lighter setup here. Uh, I um, definitely would recommend this channel. I like it a lot. So anyway, go ahead and show you some flight demo footage. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.